is entitled Home Sweet Home. Okay, Home Sweet Home. Everybody knows about experiencing culture shock when you visit a place with different customs, food, and language. However, as a student going to the US for several years of study, nobody warned me of the shock I would feel upon returning home. Reverse culture shock is the name given to the feeling of not fitting in when you return home after an extended period of time abroad. Believe me, as I discovered firsthand, Kahu Kelimet firsthand, reverse culture shock can be worse than the culture shock experience when traveling to a foreign country. I felt lost and depressed. It took me a long time to get back into the swing of things. And the main reason was because I wasn't prepared. I never expected it. The best way to beat reverse culture shock is to know how it might strike. Here are a few things I wish I had known before returning home. Nobody cares about your travels. It's a fact. While those years abroad may be most, the most life-changing years of your life, they don't mean anything to the people who did not experience, it, experience them. So if you're lucky enough to have a friend or a, let, or, or, sorry, or a relative who does, not, who does take interest, appreciate them, but basically keep your experiences to yourself unless someone asks and don't get upset if the questions never come. Be prepared for boredom. While you were abroad, everything was new. Performing mundane tasks or simply listening to everybody, everyday conversations in a country where you cannot speak the language well can seem exotic or even exciting. It may take a while to get used to how boring the normal things can be when you return home. People might not understand the new you. It's not uncommon for people who live abroad for many years to adopt some new ideas or ways of thinking. More often than not, they become more open-minded and understanding of the world around them. Just remember though, that people who have not left their homeland and who have, and who have not had the experiences you had will probably look at you like you have arrived from another planet. The worst feeling of all, however, might be that of being trapped. After returning to Germany from the United States, I, said, I suddenly felt like I might never be able to leave Germany again. Obviously, that was not true, but the feeling at the time was intense. Just like culture shock, you can survive reverse culture shock. Just be, just be prepared and do your best to get on with your life once you return home. Okay. We'll listen to you guys read, and then we'll start... Um, answering the questions. Always try to understand the passage first before we answer the questions. We'll start with Benin Hamoudi. Um, yes, Hi. Professor. Everybody knows about... Okay. Everybody knows about experiencing uh -huh. culture shock when you visit a place with a different costumes, food, and language. However, as a student going to the U.S. for several years uh, of study, Nobody um, warned me of the shock I would feel upon returning home. Reverse culture shock uh, is the name given to the feeling of not um, fitting in when you return home after an uh, extended period of time aboard. Excellent. Abroad. Excellent. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Abroad. Uh huh. Excellent. So this is our first paragraph. Can someone identify the topic and the main idea in this paragraph, please? Nathan. I think it's uh, uh, um, someone that experienced a culture shock and travel for foreign country, and he described the experience about it. Um, no, we're not talking about an experiences about someone going to a different country and experiencing culture shock. We're talking about reverse culture shock. Mm. Do you know about a reverse culture shock? I don't know. Actually, I don't know, actually. 
هي كالتشر شوك نفسها اوكي اللي هي الصدمه تبعها ريفرس شنو معنى ريفرس؟ معكوس يعني هو اذا عارفه بالعربي يعني او شيء يعني انه هو يعني اي دونت نو اكسلنت يعني ذاتس كوريكت زين هسه فهمت انت ترجمتها Could you give me the meaning of reverse culture shock, please? يعني إنه جرب إنه العودة من الآن. He returned home and experienced how people like welcomed him because, يعني for a long time he was abroad and he finally returned to his home or his country. I think this is excellent. Excellent. So it's um, إحنا حكينا عن culture shock. In the it's. You experience culture shock when you go to a different country. Reverse culture shock is when you go back home. What happens or the shock you experience when you go back when you go back home and try to fit back into your um, previous lifestyle. So the topic إهنانا هو reverse culture shock. The main idea, Mustafa. يعني هم حكينا هاد صورة مختصرة. But please. The main idea is the feeling of not fitting in after you have experienced the reverse culture shock or maybe excellent, home. excellent. Okay, wonderful Mustafa thank you very much okay Karad would you like to read the second paragraph for us please yes I would like believe me as I discovered firsthand reverse culture shock can be worse than the culture shock experienced when traveling to a foreign country. I felt lost and depressed. It took me a long time to get used into the swing of things. And the main reason was because I wasn't prepared. I never expected it. The best way to beat reverse culture shock is to know how is to, is to know how it might strike here are three thing uh, here are few things i wish i had know before no. return home excellent thank you karar but then um Obviously, the writer has experienced reverse culture shock firsthand. Uh, remember, we use the term firsthand uh, to mean directly. Okay. Um, other paragraph. Karar. إحنا حتى نتعلم إحنا مو بس نأخذ موضوع نطبقه فنحاول نطبق بهذا ال uh, passage where is the main idea the topic أسا على طول ال passage راح يكون it, our topic is reverse culture shock لكن راح تشوفون بكل paragraph the main idea راح تختلف um, so in the paragraph you have just read for us Karar what is the main idea yes well well here um, the writer he's talk about how how you should, you must, you must prepare before you traveling across the country. You must prepare, you must know um, about the country you, you would to travel. Okay, um, you will be depressed, you will be lost there. You should know something about the country you want to travel, right? Okay, so it's all about being prepared when you return home. Okay, the shock and um, the culture shock and how to prepare for the reverse culture shock when you return home. And then he says, now I'm going to give you some of some tips um, from his own experience. Thank you very much, Karar. So I guess uh, you can summarize the main idea from your own perspective. What you understood from the paragraph would be the main idea, but it has to be obviously related. Um, Hamad Ra'id, paragraph number three. Oh, yes. Nobody, just a minute. Now, nobody cares about you, your travels. It is, it is a fact. While those years abroad may be the most life-changing years of your life, they don't mean anything to the people who did not experience them. So, if you are lucky enough to have a friend, a relative, who does take interest, interest appreciate them, but basically, Keep your experience to yourself unless someone asks. 
And don't get upset if the question never comes. Idea. Please. There's a voice. Uh, Miss Hiba, uh, Miss Maha, there is there is a problem with your, with your connection. Yes, I'm experiencing internet connection shock. Okay. <laughs> nice. Marash <laughs> bin I'm really sorry, yeah. guys. I think Muhammad had finished reading his paragraph. Muhammad, could you please uh, give us the main idea in the paragraph you have just read for us? The main idea it is when someone return uh, return to his home and. He feel bored and he should not speak about his experiences that foreign country that he he's already visited. He just keep him to himself. If someone yes. asks him, he will answer what what he's really are not speaking because that will make him remember the beautiful moment that he have in that in this foreign or neighboring country. <laughs> How is that, Alex? مو راح يخلي يتذكر لا مش فيك الناس تغار منا هذا كل شيء. ها؟ no. Is there with this feeling of jealous? I have family members um, who will not enjoy you bragging about it. Uh huh. It's a feeling of jealousy. فهنا أنا ينصحكم ترى إذا رحتوا سافرتوا مو تقعد تخبصنا من ترجع. Okay, I need ship it, I need to wait. Okay, I need her room. Yes. Okay, I, I guess yes. that's the main idea. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, next. Durra, yalla durra. Yes, miss. Well, okay, would you like to read the paragraph of Rada? Be prepared. Just one minute, yes. Be prepared. Uh, be prepared for uh, board, dome, board dom, boredom, 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 yes, yes, uh, boredom. Well, you were a boredom, everything was new, reforming, mod, uh, mod -num? mundane, mundane, text are simply distinct to everyday conversations and at in a, a country where you cannot speak the language, well, can seem ex uh, ex -talk, ex -talk? exotic, exotic, or even exciting. It may take a while to get used uh, used to have boring. The normal thing can be when you uh, return home. Excellent. 
Okay, lahato. We have some new words. What do we mean by mundane? Or what do you try? Any moment, how does one of the uses of collocations? So you come across a word and you don't know its meaning. So what do you mean? Okay, that's so well. Okay, what do we mean by mundane? Okay, routine. We can say routine. Excellent, excellent, Mustafa. Then exotic. What do we mean by exotic? Something being exotic. Chapter Okay, I'm back. You obviously didn't hear what I said. <clears throat> I'll repeat. Uh, what do we mean by exotic? Jadid, um, Muthir, Gharib, those um, terms maybe. Exotic? Uh, now, Mustafa? She is Jadid, Gharib, Muthir, Okay. Yeah. Uh, in English, can you give us a synonym for exotic? Uh, interesting, maybe. I think interesting fi ashra. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh. Ah. Okay. I think I think in range. Yet attractive. Okay, so exotic, perfect. Uh, the love. Your voice. Is In our previous chapters, we learned about contextual Meaning, if you come across a word and you don't know its meaning, then you look at the adjacent word, okay? It's cracking up, I know, and I'm really sorry. Le 
الاستاذة طلعت منتظرها شوية على ما تصلح الانترنت مالتها. اوكي. هانج تايت. I'm sorry for that. Let's continue before I get disconnected again. Okay, where were we? Um, we defined exotic. Did we talk about the main idea in the paragraph? I guess not. Um, Dora, since you read the paragraph for us, what is the main idea in that paragraph? Yes, miss. Bordon? The main, yeah. idea, the main, main Ex- idea of paragraph? Uh-huh. It's experiencing boredom. Um, 
in your everyday routine life once you return home. Excellent, Dola. Thank you very much. The, um, the following paragraph, Mustafa Mehdi, would you like to read for us? Yes, miss. Yes. Well, with, with what? Pe people, people might not understand the new you. Uh, can you give me a minute, please? Uh, which page on the book? Is it on the book? No, it's not in the book. It's on the screen. Just, uh, a minute, please. Can you read the screen? If you can't, then that's okay. It's a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, now I can see it. Uh, people might not understand the new you. You want me to maximize? Okay. No, I, I maximized it. Uh, I maximized it from my view. Thank you. Uh, people might not understand the new you. It, it's not uncommon for people who live abroad, uh, abroad for many years. Uh, to adopt uh, some new ideas or ways uh, okay. of thinking. More often than not, uh, they become more open-minded and uh, understanding of the world around them. Just remember, uh, though, that people who have not uh, left their homeland and who have not had uh, the experience you have had, well, will probably look at you like you have arrived from another planet. Excellent, Mustafa, wonderful. Mustafa, what is the main idea in this paragraph? Is that, uh, I think it is that when you adapt to a new ideas, uh, it is not uh, uh, easy to adapt to them. And if you had them and back to your homeland uh, with that ideas, uh, you would be like uh, strange because you came up with the uh, ideas and, and the community like that. Yeah. Excellent. يعني مو تروح البلد ثاني تشوفهم لابسين تنانير ترجع البلد تلبس تنورة. Okay? لا. Yeah. ولا تشوفهم مثلا 